What's good YouTube? In this video we'll be taking a look at the camera settings for the iPad Pro. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching. So the iPad has really come a long way over the years and while it's not really known as a go-to device for taking photos, it certainly does pack some very high quality cameras, especially the Pro model. To access this, what you want to do is go into your settings and you want to scroll down on the left here until you see the camera app. And then from there, you'll be able to access the iPad Pro's camera settings, which will go over here. Right at the top is formats. This is the format to which your photos are taken in. And if you hit formats, you'll see there's two options, which are high efficiency and most compatible, which is the JPEG. High efficiency is a file format that saves your image into a more space efficient format that allows you to take more photos and store them on your iPad with using less space. If you only view your photos on your iPad, you'll probably want to check high efficiency. But if you do find yourself changing photos and having other people on other devices get sent your photos, you might want to change it to most compatible just so they'll be able to view the photos. Next up is the record video format and here you can adjust how the iPad records the videos. As you can see the different resolutions from 720p all the way to 4k to which the iPad records the video and then from there you can also choose the frame rates as well. From there you can also choose auto FPS which will automatically reduce the frame rate to improve low light video and you can also enable video format control or lock the camera which makes it so you don't automatically switch between cameras while recording video if you don't want to change which lens you're using while you're recording video. Going back you can also adjust the slow-mo settings there and as you can see you have two options you have 1080p at 120 frames per second or 1080p at 240 frames per second which will take up a lot more space next you can see the ability to record stereo sound on your videos and you can enable or disable this and then after that you can choose preserve settings which will preserve whatever settings you have for your camera app every time you open and close a app if we go into here you can see you can enable preserve settings for camera mode which will preserve the same camera mode that you use every time you close and open the apps and whether or not you want to preserve the live photo settings each and every time you close the camera app as well below that you have scan QR codes and you can enable or disable this if you want your iPad to be able to scan QR codes below that you can show detected text which allows you to show the iPad's AI detected text and then below that are some more important ones if you're looking to get some good shots out of your iPad here you can able, enable the rule of third grid which sets up lines at the thirds of the screen so you can better compose your shots and then from there you can mirror the front camera if you want the flip image of the front camera on your iPad Below there you can enable or disable scene detection which automatically improves photos of various scenes using intelligent image recognition. And below that is lens correction which will the iPad will automatically adjust the edges of the image to compensate for distortion found on the more wide angle lenses. And then finally you have smart HDR where the iPad will intelligently blend the best parts of separate exposures to make a single photo out of high dynamic range. So there you have it everyone, just a quick overview of the camera settings on the iPad Pro and what they do. If you like this kind of content or find this kind of content helpful, leave a message down below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.